Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service is taken from the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The form of words on some of the slides has been changed to reflect a recent update. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in with the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful to, to live, live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice, Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones would shout, shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your, your people, people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Renew us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, 
Let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May, May God, God forgive you, Christ, Christ renew you, you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in, in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Loving God in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that, that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit, with people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Hurry, God, and save me. Come quickly, come, come to my aid. Confuse the devious plans of those who want to hurt me. Let those intent on harming me be dishonoured and exposed. Let those who jeer and gloat be shamed into silence. Sustain all those who seek you. Fill them with joy and gladness. Let those who long for your help cry, Glory, glory to God. Meanwhile, remember me, God. I need to know you are there. Hurry to help and save me, for you are my only deliverer. God, do not delay. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 10 through 23. By the grace God gave me, I acted as a wise architect and laid the foundation. Someone else is doing the building. But each of you doing the building must do it carefully. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one already in place, Jesus Christ. You may build on this foundation using gold, silver, precious stones, wood, grass, or straw. Regardless of the material, the day will come when your work will be revealed for what it is. It will be revealed in fire and that fire will test the quality of your work. If your building survives, you will receive your reward. If it burns down, you will be the loser. You will survive, but only as one who goes through fire. Aren't you aware that you are the temple of God 
and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If you destroy God's temple, God will destroy you. For the temple of God is holy, and you are that temple. Don't delude yourselves. Any who think themselves wise in a worldly way had better become fools. In that way, you will really be wise. For the wisdom of this world is absurdity with God. As scripture says, God knows how empty are the thoughts of the wise. And again, God is not convinced by the arguments of the wise. So there is nothing to boast about in anything human, whether it be Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future. All these are yours and you belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. For the word of God in scripture and other wellsprings of nourishment, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Some people call it Lent. I've always experienced it, God, as your personal workshop. A bit like the fiscally painful process of having my car serviced, but looking forward to being relieved, problems fixed, thankful, and even more free afterwards. This spiritual journey from and into you can be disturbing and disrupting. In my more honest moments, I've even been known to admit it needs to be. Daily practices and routines, including quiet times, reading, time out from the usual busyness and habits, reveal overlooked sloppiness and casual slipshod actions and attitudes, which are convenient and easy for me, but show me they are not of you. Painfully shocking, I realise they block my ability to hear you and be one with you. 
If only I would absorb in the faithful, wise love you have shown me. Others who have not experienced this then could see you in me and come to know for themselves how you change and transform every single person and every situation when you are free to be you, Creator, Redeemer, God. Help me take down the defensive barriers erected out of fear from previous hurt, betrayal and oppression. It truly is all about love, your love, you. Holy Spirit of God, change me. Help me to play my part in this, in my knowing actions and choices, moment by moment. Amen. On the fourth day of the month, we pray for church renewal, our local Christian communities and new forms of being church, the Iona Community Board and the people and governments of these countries, Algeria, Libya, Morocco, Tunisia and Western Sahara. And this day we pray for members belonging to the family group of Cass, Valerie Allen and Len Gregory, Ruth Burgess, Elizabeth Patterson and Isabel Saal. And members belonging to the family group of Grampian and Tayside, Brian Crosby and Liz Crosby, Jack Laidlaw and Anne, Alan Watt and Anne. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in German speaking regions. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. God, in whose heart is love and justice, show us this day whom we must love and what we should challenge or change in order that your will for the earth might be done. Increase our hope, dispel our apathy, inspire our imagination and, and deepen our commitment until we become the signs of your kingdom for which we and others pray. Amen. In work, rest and worship, God, God is, is with us. us. Gathered and scattered, God, God is, is with us. us. Now and always, God, God is, is with us. us.